Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. We are on Daf Kuf Tes Ahmed Beis 109b at the bottom, a uh, couple of lines from the bottom. Uh, we're, we're in the midst of potions on Shabbos and healing on Shabbos. The, just to re uh, uh, review quickly what the essentially the rule is anything that's uh, a, a general food um, that typically would be eaten can be eaten even if it's intended for a medicinal purpose. Any drink that's a, 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 that's a normal drink can be had on Shabbos even if it is meant, uh, intended uh, medicinally. Uh, however, if something is uh, not generally taken unless it's medicinal, so then it would be permitted on Shabbos only uh, um, if somebody has a more severe ail ailment where it is uh, knocking them out of, uh, off their feet, they're, they're out of commission on account of it, meaning that they can't function in the normal way they're functioning. And it, in, in, you know, in doctor's offices, you'll often see a, uh, in a doctor's office, you'll often see like a, a scale of one to 10 and how severe pain is. And it, it, the first few say, well, I feel it, but I can go about my day normally. So that's what we're talking about, where it, they can, where you can go about your day normally, but there is an, but there's an annoyance of mechesh balma, some sort of uh, uh, light ailment. Uh, there, you can only take medicine if it is a normal, uh, uh, if it is a normal um, uh, food, um, and and that's the the general concept. Uh, the Gemara was uh, talking about uh, the the danger of uh, drinking something that was left open overnight on account of that a snake. Could have uh, could have left its um, could have drank from there and put some of its venom in there, and then the Gemara was talking about the danger of a snake it itself and, and snake bites. Uh, the Gemara is going to go from from uh, general potions of uh, snake bites. We're going into right now into some of the more uh, spiritual damage from a snake. Um, the Gemara tell, uh, speaks of it all in a in a regular way, but uh, we can't go into the depth of it. Obviously, we're just doing Daf Yomi, but just keep in mind that Chava, the first human, the mother of all humanity, uh, is in the uh, Gan Eden, uh, in the Garden of Eden, and the serpent, the snake, uh, convinces her to eat of the forbidden fruit, of, uh, of knowledge, uh, of the fruit of knowledge of good and evil, and and so infects her and invades her uh, space in that way. And so that's really um, a, a lot of what's going on in the next Gemara. So hi, two lines from the bottom of the Gemara. Hi, man, the Tarke Chibio, somebody gets a bite from a snake, Lacey Ubra the Chamra, you take a uh, 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 fetus from a, a donkey, or from a white donkey, and uh, and and uh, tear it open, and put it on the snake bite. But that's only if you find that it wasn't at, the mother of this fetus was not actually a terefa, was not uh, dying herself, didn't have an ailment that you would die herself. Kuf Yud Amin Aleph, Ahu Bar Kasha, a certain. Uh, a Jew who was uh, who was uh, working for the government um, as a, uh, usually a tax collector, but uh, somebody who was working for the government, the Pumba Dice and Pumba Dice, the Tar Kechivya got bitten by a snake. So have it Lesa Chamri, Chivra said there were 13 or, 14, uh, or 12 um, uh, um, uh, white donkeys in Pumbadisa, and all of them were uh, essentially given a C-section and they opened up in order to see if, uh, if they had a, uh, a fetus to, to, to cover this. But they were all found to be trefa. So even if they had a fetus, there was no, uh, was no help. There was one that was on the other side of the, uh, of the, uh, of Pumbadisa. Ad the Azli Maisi, well, till by the time it went to get it, 
Achla Arye, a lion had eaten it. Amal Abayas, Abayas said, Dil Mechivya the Rabbanan Tarke, the Lesli Asusa. Maybe it's a snake bite from the Rabbanan that, that bit this person. And for that, there's no healing. The Chsiv says in the Pasuk, that somebody who breaks a barrier, um, it gets bitten by a snake. This is a, a metaphor based on, uh, on occurrence. If somebody breaks a barrier is, uh, is essentially breaking boundaries. And when you do so, um, under, this, under the fence that you just broke, under the wall that you just broke, there may be a hidden snake and you get bitten by a snake. And this is the idea that when, when people break, break boundaries that are placed to, to help uh, society work together and work well, or uh, in a halacha to work well, so the chachamim make a fence uh, and, and somebody breaks them, they may be bitten by that. And so this person was bitten by the snake of the chachamim who, was, who forbade something, and he uh, and he uh, refused to follow, or broke that boundary, and as a, as a result, he got a bite, which was not uh, able to be healed. Amrle in indeed, uh, yes, this that that is what happened to this fellow. Rabbi, the uh, chinah uh, in Rabbi, the chinach nafshe the rab indeed my teacher because when. Uh, 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 when Rav uh, passed away, uh, Rav being the, the great leader in, in Bavel. So Gaza Ritzka Babisna, the Lekalimite Asia, Asa Vagimda, Vagidma, Labe Lulabetap, that uh, they used to dance with uh, branches of, of, uh, of Hadassim at a wedding. So they would throw them up in the air and it was a part of the celebration. Part of the shtick at a wedding, um, and with bells, and they would shake the bells as a part of the dance. And when Ravashi, when Rab passed away, uh, uh, Rav Yitzchak Babisna enacted that for the year of mourning, even non relatives, but everybody's a relative of, of Rab, everybody's a student of Rab because he affected the community so much that the, no hadassim and no bells at weddings. But when this fellow uh, made a wedding, he brought these these shtick uh, 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 to a wedding to make it even more lively, and uh, broke the boundary of what was said not to not to do so. And miss indeed he got bitten by a bite a, a snake bite, and he got bitten by a snake who miss and he died. I'm on the kachichivulin. So somebody that a snake is wrapping itself around them. So what, do you, what should he do? Linchis lamaya, it should go to the water. Velischev dikula aration, take a basket of uh, a reed basket and um, slowly push it down his body. Uh, um, and so put it over the head of the snake, um, uh, uh, really pushing it down close to his body. And when the snake finally gets onto the basket, throw it into the water, and get out of the water and run. Haiman, the mikri bechivya. If there's a, uh, a snake that is um, mad and chasing him, if he has another friend, so uh, with him, Arbe The friend should carry him for for four amos, for about six feet. The Gemara is saying that the snake has a particular target. It's smelling, it's sensing a particular person, and when those footsteps are not there, so somebody carried him uh, uh, in the air for six feet, it'll lose track of the sense of the of this particular person's footsteps. So a friend should carry him. Ve'ilo, if there's no one there, so lishor uh, nagra. Um, so you should, if there's a, 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 a you should make some uh, of a uh, make a water ditch, some even just a scratch in the ground for water. Ve'ilo, and if there isn't, li'avanara, you should go over a river. And if it's at night, a belelia, loisve lepuria araba chaviti. You should put his bed on top of four barrels. Um, but he sh- and he should sleep 
on the open uh, uh, without a roof over him. Because if he sleeps uh, with a roof, then the snake may get up on the roof and throw itself on, uh, um, on his bed from, from above. And from below, he can't get up because it's on the barrels. The Lysi Dalishunri, well, actually, you can get up the barrels. So what he should do is he should get four cats and put one on each of the foot uh, of, of the uh, corners of his bed. Somebody should take twigs and put them around the, the, all around the bed. The chisham akali, because when the snake tries coming, it'll go over twigs, it'll make noise, and the cats will catch him. I'm on the road to Basre. If the uh, uh, the snake is is running right after. Lirat Bechalta, it should run between the sands. I don't know what between the sands means, but it should run between the sands because the snake can't run between sand. Uh, snake uh, can slither over sand, but not between sand. I'm not sure what that is. Hi, Itzi. What about if a woman is being the. Um, uh, it, sees a snake. She doesn't know whether the snake is um, thinking about her particularly or not. So she should take a, piece, a garment and throw it at him in front of the snake. If the snake wraps itself in the garment, so you know that the snake is thinking about her. And if not, then um, then the snake is uh, you know doesn't care about it. So if she realizes that indeed he the snake is 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 uh, thinking uh, uh, you know knows about her, thinking about her. So what's the what's the fix? To shamash coming, she should bring her husband there and and have relations with in front of the snake. No, that's going to make it worse. So rather, she should take her her uh, 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 hair and a nail and throw it in front of the snake. Uh, and she should say that I have my period. Hi, um, Itzi. The Ayal Bachivya. If the snake uh, 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 went into her, inside her um, privates. So Lipasa. She should um, uh, uh, she should spread her legs. And put her legs on two different barrels. And uh, she take a, a fatty piece of meat. And roast it on coals. And then in a barrel uh, in a basket of tachli, uh, which is a, a vegetable, um, put the ro- the roasted beef on top of that. Uh, and also very, uh, very um, aromatic wine. Uh, and she sit there. And uh, um, put the, 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 the basket of uh, vegetable, the tachalai, together with the meat next to the wine uh, between the barrels. In this way, the snake will come out together. The link it's after the other should have a, 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 a tongs in her in her hand. When it smells it, nothing. It'll come out. But also, will uh, take it out, and then once it grabs it with the tongs, to take it out. and throw it right into a fire because otherwise I'll go back. The loy Practical stuff right there. So um, write this down and take it on your next camping trip. The like Gemara says, well, I, I always, make sure Sorry? Have, always make sure you have plenty of white donkeys around. Yes. Just uh, in case. Fetuses of white donkeys. Yeah. Okay, so the Mishnah, going back to the Mishnah, the Mishnah said that anything that uh, is a, a typical food, you can eat. And if it's an atypical food, meaning it's only eaten uh, when someone is not well, so that you can't eat unless you're so not well that it is making you um, not function normally. You're not able to operate in, in, in your regular way. 
What did it say all food? We already said the concept. Of, so what does it say all foods for? Uh, eating spleen for, for your teeth. And eating kashinin uh, for your, uh, um, which are good for your, uh, for your gut, for your intestines. But, they, but both of them, uh, even though that they're good for a particular thing, they're really not good for the rest of your body. And, 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 and people only eat it when they really need it for that, uh, for that ailment, because it, it's hard to digest otherwise. And therefore, uh, and, and therefore it's a sign that uh, it's, it, even though that it is a food, but it's a, when you eat it, you, you know that you're eating it for, people know that you're eating it for, medicinal purposes unless you're so uh, uncomfortable that it is uh, that you can't really operate normally um, you shouldn't have it on shops uh, what about kolamashkin it said all drink what is that including my lasuye made and bechaimitz it's to tell you that capers uh, water that the capers are soaked in with uh, with vinegar that's uh, that, that drink. Um, uh, so, so that is included in it, that that's not a typical drink and it would be prohibited. So somebody allowed to drink uh, urine. Yesterday we saw that that was considered a potion for uh, certain things. We learned that no, you, uh, uh, all drinks can be had, but you can't drink urine because people don't drink it, which is good news. Um, the the, the uh, post can ask in Aloha, how can we even consider this, uh, whether it's permissible on Shabbos or not? You can't even drink it during the week because the Torah says, not allowed to do anything that's disgusting. Chutzman made the call it. With vinegar, so we saw that you have to, that if, if you dip your pita in the vinegar, that was okay. But not if you use vinegar for like a mouthwash. But if this is so. What's different about vinegar? They mean if it, if it's a normal food, people do drink vinegar, or people, you know, why why is that not okay? Where where are you referring to? In Bayat, it, it says that you could dip your pita. In, if you have a, a toothache, you could dip your pita in vinegar, and you could eat the vinegar through the eating the pita because it does. Like a Mari science thing, but what's the Mari? You're talking science? about the Gemara and Beitza, not here. Right, but but what's what's the Mari science thing? If you're allowed to use eat normal foods that are just good, that are that are good for what you've got. I'm not sure what your what your question is. Sorry. That that you could eat food that is that is normally eaten and is edible. You could eat food even though your intent is that it's going to help you with this whatever condition you're trying to to Correct. treat. Why not vinegar? Why can't you just use the vinegar? Because people drink vinegar. Vinegar is edible. Why there? They have to use an orma by, by dipping your pita in it. Because that's the way normally people would eat it. Because th- that's the point. That's the way people would eat vinegar. People eat vinegar by, by, as a dip. But people don't drink vinegar straight. Oh. So it goes into a salad. It goes into um, into a dip, but it doesn't. You don't drink it straight. It's not an unlimited heter. You have to eat it the normal way, even if your intent is to, to treat whatever you're trying to right, treat. Right. That's right. That's precisely what the mission is saying. That that any food has to be done in a, in, in a normal way. As Thank long you. as it's done normal, so even though that it's you're intending it to heal a minor a minor ailment, a minor discomfort, but you can never, uh, nevertheless, you're allowed to do it on Shabbos because it's, uh, because it's typical. It's a Maris Ayn thing or just, it's, that's the, that's the Gezer or what, what? No, it's not Maris Ayn. It's just that you're doing medicine and we're afraid that you're going to create a potion by, by, by grinding. So people, when they're uncomfortable, they, 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 they forget, they forget themselves. So if it's a serious enough ailment that it's knocking you off your feet, so go ahead, take the medicine. But if you're, if it's not knocking you off your feet, you can go about your day irregular. It's just like you, you know you're feeling it. 
So then, you know, then don't do the medicine because you're, uh, because you may come to make a potion, which usually requires uh, pestle and mortar, grinding down stuff until you can create the, what's needed. And so Hazal said, eh, yeah, don't do that uh, unless it's a normal, unless you're eating it in a typical way and you're drinking it in a typical way. So then it looks like uh, uh, just food and then, and that's fine. Tana Chutzme made the card. So we learn besides for uh, uh, water from, from palm. Uh, and, and the Brysa says, uh, besides for made the curry. So uh, Decker. And when it says, Mantana uh, made the curry, Shehim Dekarim Es Amara. Because it's, it'll, it'll, the idea is it stabs the, 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 uh, the gall. Uh, and the one that says water that comes from palms, it's the water that comes from between two palms, from a stream between two palms, which has some of the, the uh, 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 power of, of the fruit. So my shnei color. what is this water of dekel, of the palms? Amar rabba barbuna tarti talai ikeb marava. In Eretz Yisrael, these two uh, uh, palm uh, palm uh, trees or, or palm rows. Manafki ena the Miami Binayu, and there's a, a a stream of water, a well. Uh, that's not a well, a, a spring of water that comes from between them. If you drink one cup, kasa kama marpi, just loosens one, a person's uh, 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 bowel movement. Idach mishalshel, a second one. And it makes it uh, diarrhea. The idach, and if we drink a third cup, it comes out as clear as it, it went back in. This is the original pre-pre uh, uh, pre, uh, pre-test uh, uh, drink. Amar Ula, ledidi shasi shikra de bavlay. Ula says when he, Ula, who lived in Eretz Yisrael, would come to Babel. And the and the uh, the beer in Bavel was made of uh, of dates and it was uh, particularly strong, and it had an effect on on people's bowels. So Ula said, "When I came to Eretz Yisrael, I drank your Babylonian beer and it had the same effect on me." Umali minayu, and it was even better. And it's on account of that he wasn't ready, he, he wasn't used to it, he hadn't had it for forty days. Of Yezum Amazetum Amitzri, Tilt Zetum Hamitzri is also such a potion that helps with this. So Tilta Sari, it's a third uh, barley, the Tilta Kurtami, and it's a third, uh, maybe cardamom, Karkum, and Tilta Milcha, and a third salt. That's uh, pretty, pretty strong on the, on the salt and spice. And Papa says actually uh, a third of wheat, um, a third kurtumi and a third uh, salt. Masimanech, and the way to remember who said sar, uh, that, that it's sari, it's, it's barley. That's the other samach, that's Rabbi Yosef. This is Simanech Sisani, which is a, a, a type, of, um, um, a type of basket that the barrels are in. Yeah, yeah. Neil Simon is offering a uh, a drink test for all of these uh, uh, social distance uh, drink tests. Anybody wants can go have it with him, but make sure you have enough time to get home. Uh, right. The best time to drink this for this uh, for this cleansing is between Pesach and Shavuos. The Kamit Marpile, somebody who's Who's uh, constipated? It'll soften it for him with the roughy. And if it's uh, too soft, somebody has, has a loose bowels. So come it late, it'll it'll make it regular. Kos ikrin, kos ikrin, which uh, is uh, Rashi says in the Mishnah, it's a potion made out of beets, sorry, out of roots, um, and uh, it was used. For a certain uh, uh, for certain ailments, and if you had even a little bit more than just a, a minor, a, a small amount, it'll also make a person sterile. It'll make them uh, infertile. 
My Kosikri. What is Kosikri? Now, Rabbi Yechon Alaisi Mitkel Zuzi Kuma, a measure of one Zuz measure of, of Kuma and Alexandria from Alexander, who Mitkel Zuzi Gavi Gila, and a measure of Gavi Gila um, uh, um, in the same size, so equal measure of uh, uh, the weight of a Zuz, and an equal measure of Mitkel Zuzi Kurkama, uh, Rishka. So this is a karkam of a, of a certain, uh, which let's say cardamom of a certain um, uh, garden, grows in, in gardens. And grind them all together. So these three spices are ground together. So lezava, so a, a woman who has a, 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 an abnormal flow, a heavy flow that comes at, the, a, a, at abnormal intervals. So lasa uh, b'chamra, uh, three, in wine, so uh, and then the um, lemiacra, so that would be the right amount that would stop, that would heal her, but would not cause infertility. Lirikuna, but for for jaundice, or somebody who has a, a, a liver disease, train uh, uh, Then you have to have two together, not with wine, but with beer, umiyakra, and that would actually cause sterilization. It would cause um, uh, um, infertility. So this is the original, um, uh, this is the original uh, potion that somebody would take for if they didn't want to become pregnant. Umiyaka lazava. Uh, so lazava to So the Gemara said, so the potion is for a zava, the amount to take is three uh, with the wine, the lemiacra, and that would not cause infertility, but it would help with the um, heavy excess flow. Bilo, if that didn't work or you don't have the ability to have it, um, lysi plus. So it's, this is another thing that it would help. And we turn the page to Kufiud Amad Aleph. So, so bring three kafizi. Um, Shamchi uh, Parsai, bring three barrels, uh, three jugs um, that have uh, that can carry three lug of uh, Persian onions, which were Rashi says they were a larger size. Manishlik and cook it and boil it. Bechamra in wine, Manishke uh, and 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 drink it. and people should say to her as she's drinking this, Kum Zovech, you should. Uh, cease or get up from your resolve from your excess flow. The Eloi, and if again, if she doesn't have uh, these onions or can't or it didn't work, she should sit on the on on a fork in the road. Link the casa the camera the other, and she should hold a, a a cup of wine in her hand. and somebody should come from behind her vulivasa and scare her. Vulemala and say to her kumi and get up from your zov from your excess flow. The ila, and if that doesn't work, lacy buna de kamuna. Bring a handful of 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 um, uh, cumin, uh, obuna de marika, and a handful of let's say car, uh, um, cardamom, obuna de shavalulisa, and uh, a handful of shavalulisa, uh, which Rashi says is fenugreek. Manishlik bechamra. And uh, cook it in 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 wine, vinashke, and give her to drink, vinemela, and say to her, kumizove, uh, get up from your excess flow. The eloi, and if that doesn't work, or or you don't have those ingredients, lacy shitin shiidadana, take uh, 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 sixty barrel seals of wax barrel seals, vinilashve. And and uh, the shafi and 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 smear it on her, rub it on her. and say to her, get up from your from your um, excess flow. Viloy, and if that doesn't work, lace pashtina, uh, uh, bring this grass. Um, uh, it's called pashtina. It's basically like a moss. It it, it spreads low, but it doesn't grow tall. Velishik bechamra, cook it in wine. The shafia and rub it on her. Say to her, get up from your flow. Vi If that doesn't work, Malaysi Harnuga Dehikta. 
bring a, a, a type of moss that grows on uh, um, on on the shrubs. And so the um, rum, the hikta rumisa, which grows on this uh, this shrub called um, hikta rumisa, velikli, um, and uh, burn it up. Veles vi be shachke de kitna. The uh, the and put it into in the summer. Put it into uh, linen garments. And in the winter, put it in cotton garments. And in this way, um, uh, the, that ash will be there for the eloy. And if that, if not, lichrisheva biri the lichibu. And if not, um, dig seven pits and uh, put her in them uh, and put in them shavishta uh, yelada the arla a young branches of a young tree uh, sorry of young vines uh, and she should hold a glass of wine a cup of wine in her hands and she should be put into one of the pits and then taken out and put in the other pit and then back and forth and each one of the pits, Lemele, which to say to her, um, get up from your zov. Now, for Eloi, and if that didn't work, Lacey Samida, bring uh, uh, some fine flour, Velisra me palga le tatoi, and smear her on one, on one half, Velema, and say, uh, get up from your excess food. If that doesn't work, bring a egg from a namita, which is a, a, a type of bird, a large bird, and 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 roast that. And in linen and and put it inside a linen garment in the uh, uh, in the summer. The Amar Gufna Bissitova, and in cotton garments, worn out cotton garments, Shmatas in the summer, sorry, in the winter, and and that's the, and that's the way you you, you put it on her. The Eloi, and if that doesn't work, lift the Chalachavita the Chamer Lishma, open a new barrel of wine, in in her honor, for, you know, for her, and everybody and, and everybody should have some drinks and drink a lot, so it'll be everybody will be joyous and happy. Eloi, and if that doesn't work, link it zarta the mishtak has the kafuta the the kudna chivra. Get some barley that was eaten by a a uh, a white uh, mule and had passed through into the dung. So you have to search through the dung of a of a, uh, a white mule to find this this whole barley. And Enoch, 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 so when she holds that barley in her hand for one day, Pascha, then it'll stop the flow. Treyam, if she holds it in her hand for two days, and so then it'll stop for two days, sorry. Her flow will stop for two days. Enoch, Treyam, if she holds it on in her hands for two days, Pascha, Tlossiam, then the flow will stop for two day, for, for three days. Enoch, Tlossiam, if she can hold it in her hand for three days, Pascha, Laolam, the flow will stop forever. And I don't know if this forever is meant to say forever or until the next, it'll normalize it into the next time. And now lots of different uh, potions here or different ideas and the confidence in them is not so great because there's, if that one didn't work, there's another. And if that one didn't work, there's another. So they don't all work all the time. Lirai Kuna. For, the wine. Sorry? Best thing is just start with opening the wine. So just start with opening a barrel of wine. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. Lirei uh, Kuna for for uh, Yurekun, which is which is jaundice for uh, for hepatitis. Train uh, b'shichra. So there you take this potion two two measures with beer umiyaker, and it'll it'll uh, make a person infertile. The Eloi, but if that's not going to be, uh, it's not going to help 
for the uh, for for the hepatitis. So sorry now that this person's infertile, but it didn't work. So now the side effect is there, but how do you get rid of the, the jaundice? Bring the head of this fish, the milcha that has been salted. Uh, soak it, cook it in, in beer and drink it. And if that doesn't work, bring uh, uh, this this uh, grasshopper uh, that that has been soaked, so uh, it, it now has a, a, a gravy or, or a brine. So the brine of this of this uh, of this grasshopper. menina the kamsi. If you don't have this this uh, grasshopper, lysi menina the nakiri. So bring it uh, 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 some uh, some brine of this. Uh, uh, this bird called Nakiri, um, and bring it into the bathhouse, and and uh, and uh, rub it on it. Be leka beibani. If there's no if there's no bathhouse, in other words, so it's not warm. You don't have a warm place. So how are you going to get the warmth that you need? Like me bentanur laguda, put it between uh, the oven and the. Uh, uh, um, and the wall, which basically is going to be the hottest place in the house, and that's going to cause uh, that's going to cause uh, heat and sweating, uh, which causes the ailment to go out. So fever and sweating is a way to to cleanse the body, and so ca- induce the sweating this way. I'm Rabbi Yechonon. A reitzer shechamemenu yekanachenu besadina. Somebody. Um, uh, who wants to warm this person who has this uh, this jaundice ailment? So what you do is you uh, wrap him in uh, the sheets in the uh, of this person. So who this person is is different interpretations. Whether it means uh, uh, in his own sheets, but wrap him well, and so that's going to cause him to to sweat, or take another person who has the same jaundice ailment and. To, and take this the, the, that person's linens and wrap this uh, the the wrap the other person that's sick with the same ailment in it, and that'll cause uh, induce the 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 sweat and it'll help him heal. Rav Acha Bar Yosef became ill with this jaundice with this uh, 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 liver disease. Avile Rav Kahana, so Rav Kahana did this to him. Uh, by by wrapping him in the linens, the itzi and he became and became well. The Gemara says v'iloy, and if that doesn't work, laisi tlosa kafizi tamra parasaita. Bring these three measures, uh, these jugs of uh, Persian dates, but tlosa kafizi the kira, and uh, uh, these three measures of uh, of kira, then uh, of uh, which is uh, wax. The which had uh, which had um, uh, so sort of dripped essentially dripped out of a uh, out of a beehive out of the so it's beeswax that had that had oozed out from the uh, uh, from the, the the beehive itself. With lasa kavisi ala and three measures of uh, let's say aloe ala uh, tulana, oh, it's a red aloe. And all these together should be um, uh, cooked, boiled in in uh, beer, velishti, and drink it. So the beeswax together with the uh, together with the aloe, and and uh, and drink that. The eloy together with the beer. Now the eloy, and if that doesn't work, lysi ila bar chamra, get uh, uh, a, a uh, young a, a young donkey. Shave the middle of the head. And uh, and get some uh, bloodletting from there. Put it on the head. But be careful not to put it in the eyes. That none of it goes in the eyes. So it doesn't it doesn't cause blindness. And if that doesn't work, the the 
take uh, the head of a uh, of a ram. The uh, monarch bekivshon that had been um, that had been uh, brine that had basically been pickled in either brine or vinegar. Vilishlik b'shichra and cook it, boil it with with uh, beer. Vilishti and drink that. Ve'iloi and if that doesn't work, laisid avar acher bring a, a pig, but a particular type of pig. Uh, um, chutrana, it has to have uh, blotches on it, spots. Velikre in it, velikre, and uh, open it up. Velisvi alibi and put on his heart. Eloi, and if that doesn't work, lacy karti mikavtusa, the mesha. Bring karti, let's say leak, from the middle of uh, from the middle of the patch, uh, the vegetable patch. Um, uh, and um, uh, right, the Eloi of the Mishri bring um, the the get him leak from the from the middle of a patch, which is the strongest leak. And it was a, a there was an Arab uh, that had this ailment. Amale Liginai, uh, he said to the uh, to the gardener, Shakol Gulimai. Take my garment and give me, a, a, and I'll barter it for some karti, for some of these leeks. He gave it to him and he ate it. Let me, um, lend, me my, lend me my garment that I had given you for these leeks. I can sleep in it. Um, Kali, I said just a little bit. Ichrich. So Ghana, so he, he wrapped himself in it and he went to sleep. Uh, he, he got a fever, so that, that uh, helped him sweat through it. Become when he got up, the fever was so strong and he he sweated so much in his own garment. So enough when he got up, the garment had disintegrated so much that it, it fell apart into pieces. So that was how much he, heat his body gave off and how. Uh, which he sweat fr- that caused him to heal and his garment disintegrated. Take all this uh, as a, um, on, the, on face value and you lose a toe, so be careful. Lirei kuna tein shichra miyaka. The Gemara says for, for, for jaundice, two measures of this and it causes, and it causes uh, infertility. Umishari. Well, are you allowed to do that? Are you allowed to uh, um, uh, cause infertility? But Danny will learn. Menai lasiris ba adam shu asa. How do you know? Sorry, leir kun. Ami shara ba Danny will learn. Menai lasiris ba adam shu asa. How do we know that it's prohibited to cause uh, infertility? Not allowed to cause a human to become infertile. Hamalim ba atzachem lasasu bechem. Ba atzachem lasasu bechem lasasu. Dibur Rebbe Chanina. Chanina says it says in the Torah. The pasuk says um, that somebody who uh, who has um, essentially their uh, testes are detached or crushed, they're not allowed to. Um, uh, they're, they, they, it's a mum; they can't uh, do service in the avoda or they can't get married. And uh, uh, it says, "You're not allowed to do this in your lands. So don't do this to yourselves." Where it says, "Hanimali he says, that's if you're doing a, a, an external uh, injury to the, to the body. Here, you're drinking something and it happens on its own. Um, uh, uh, like like uh, Rabbi Yochanan says that if somebody uh, uh, wants to make his, his, uh, his uh, rooster not infertile, so you're not allowed to uh, Castrate essentially, you're not allowed to um, uh, do it at that place. But if you take off their crown, that's going to cause it to happen on its own, and that you're allowed to do. Um, uh, that this is not going to uh, that that doesn't actually make it infertile. But the reason why is 
uh, it, won't, it won't act as a, as a male um, rooster on account of that it, it lost its, its crown. Um, the, so the Gemara says, yes, you're right. This, that you're allowed, this person is allowed to drink this potion and it'll make him infertile is only if he is already infertile. Um, Ella Besaris. We're talking about a uh, Saris, somebody who is already infertile.